Now I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna switch the deck and we're gonna start facing the bullshit druids. I just know it. Okay, there's no flood pally on the on the thing, but I'm just gonna grab it from here then. Let me see what the meta's looking like there. And the pally best. So didn't feel like it, I can tell you that much yet, yeah. Really feel like Flood Pally should be able to handle all of this nonsense we've been seeing. You are not prepared. We played for two hours straight and didn't face a single druid, guys. Let that sink in. Open the door and let the goddamn washing utility into the house. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a single druid today, guys. 11 games. 11 games, not a single druid. Druid. Game's not rigged, it's just rigged, guys. It's not that the game is not rigged, it's just that the game is rigged. So, uh, just so you know, don't take my word for it, look at this shit. And he's gonna have both his swipes, isn't he? Cause fuck me, that's why. Turn 1 this, turn 3 that, turn 4 this maybe, showdown, probably not as important here if I don't have Zilliax. Game is not rigged at all, yo. It's only rigged. Go Arius. All I wanted to do is face a fucking druid with the goddamn hand buff pally, and we couldn't all this time. Then uh, this thing. Well, showdown definitely wanted to be a part of this game. That is a uh, giant, yeah. Let's do that then. Gonna try it itself. Okay, he's taking the slow route. He is taking the scenic route, also known as the Vista route. Let's buff this shit up and slap that ass up. He's gonna have to use everything he has against me to slow me down. Will that work? Answers to these questions and more right after I break his neck. I give it spell power of the top people. That's gonna be a plus three spell, plus two spell damage. So, free damage AoE out of the swipe if that's what he's using. And six on the giant. Not great. Is he also gonna spit on that thing for 4 damage? 4 damage of poop. Okay, he's almost there. Let's get this thing into the mix. Why did he slap? It's one off lethal as it stands. One mana off. Diamond for the push legend. I mean, the chamois list definitely sounds very strong to me. Almost forgot to attack there now, didn't I? God damn your hero power, man. Where is the swipe gonna go? Nice targeting, bro. Okay, at least the Zilliax protected us from that swipe. Let's see what else it protects us from. Oh, he's spitting. It's gonna play a Fae here. 
But if I have a decent board here, Hamidas can do some stuff. Swipe, huh? Miss me with that shit, please. That didn't attack the fucking Pazic, by the way. Lucky as shit. Quite lucky now, wasn't it? Quite, quite lucky. Lucky as duck. He's dead. The fuck he is. Are we seeing the different boards? Aside from the dragon. I think the dragon is very import important there, man. I think we cannot set the dragons aside. If I kill both these dragons, Amidas lives, technically. Eh, well... Rack. What am I nice without that the prismatic beam? Nothing on the face, huh? Nothing on the face, huh? Well, there, there was one. Fucking hell, man. Jesus, dude. What a game. Insta Druid, guys, not rigged at all. After 11 games, we switch the deck and it's gonna be a Druid. We got the 169, yeah? Of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, me neither, obviously. <laughs> me neither. Another Druid, Insta, guys! Huh? <laughs> not rigged at all, guys, not rigged at all. Haha! <laughs> Okay, okay, I really like the game right now. The game is very pleasant to look at. Not at all rigged, guys, not at all. Um, quick Sea Giant against these guys does prove to be quite the dick. I'm gonna try like that. But uh, seriously, guys, if you don't think matchmaking is rigged, we're not playing the same game, are we? If you ever thought about that against Thunder, Giants, they're both useless if I don't get myself the free mana shipped showdown. Streamer luck, you know it, man. Okay, fuck is that even? Don't swipe me! That's a lot of mana. There's the giants, but not really. I'd still rather do this. He has 8 mana here.
We're gonna swipe twice. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake, man. Unbelievable. If I go with this thing, I can uh, value trade him and leave myself with a bunch of 4-1s. I deny myself the sea giant nonsense, though. I don't know about that. Could have access to Yogg by now. Okay, tempo. Should have I trade about first? I'll just kill it. Now. This guy could be Highlander for all we know. So far he hasn't played a second. And smell the Fucking got him. Oh, Arius. I mean, he was dead on board, but... Thanks, man. Okay, that was silly. Seriously, though, two druids in a row. What is up with that? Are we gonna go for free? Of course we are. Rogue this time. Combo breaker. So Obi-Wan Kenobi again. Played against him yesterday. What was he playing yesterday? He's playing a shaman. He's playing a shaman, that's what. Let's try like that. The pleasure is mine. Thanks, man. Life be with you. Mining? In this economy? I don't need to do all that much for now. Jokes on you, I'm into that shit. Some AoE, two damage AoE, preferably for him at least. Neat. Alrighty then. Should I go with the flashy sail? Yeah, let's go with a flash sail for now. Makes the board resilient to the bullshit he can pan out. This treasure ain't fit for a pirate. Oh, oh. 
Would I play this man as well? Probably not. To battle. The battle. Maybe I'd rather coin out a Midas or some nonsense like that. I mean, it feels like it's kind of back, but uh, I would not recommend it for uh, Diamond Legend players. It's not an easy deck to make the most use of. You gotta really know how to make the most out of that deck, so I'd assume most would be botching it on those ranks. And I'm top 1000 Legend, sure, people can play that shit, but Diamond Legend is usually not the place for decks like that. Well, he managed. He done managed there. Can I actually do this? Should I coin Celiax? I oh, will. We're all in after all. Why wouldn't we? Yes, those are cards. Thanks, man. Could have at least seen if he gets a two drop on there. Could have been a two six for all we know. Okay. Another druid. Four, three druids in four games after we switch the deck. Hell areas, guys. Hell areas. Perfect swipe targets. Let's do that then. Not tricked at all. Not tricked. Can't make this shit up, guys. Trust me, I've tried. Not rigged, guys. It's not rigged if it's rigged. Thanks for the follow, Treat. Back better than hand buff? Whoa, well, whoa, whoa, for whoa, me at whoa, least. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. For whoa, me right now, whoa, at least. Whoa, whoa. Muster for battle into this thing would be insane, but nothing a swipe can't fix, you know? I think he's gonna swipe me if I just hero power as well, so I'm gonna try and rationale my resources, you know? Okay, good thing we didn't waste them. This hand is dog ass though. Hmm, maybe maybe muster and the one drop were a bit better for this predicament. Ramping. Oh god, he's gonna have seven mana for next turn. Oh come on, dude, both prismatics and this shit? He is technically dead if this board remains, but the board will do no such thing. A 
and skill yaks, huh? On skill yaks. Should be killing the 2 2, I'd assume. Would be a pretty bonehead move to kill the 4 4. I don't know, man. Pretty dicky allows him to play his Ziliax next turn. Well, let me get myself more idiots here, and also... Let's make the board not so pleasant for an Unskiliax. I'll hold on to the weapon. Not necessarily a full clear. Funny. Fun E. Guess I can do this thing. Still pretty shit. Always should have. This hand was hella questionable though, like both prismatic beams and the first five cars, like fuck me man. Fuck am I supposed to do with that? Yeah, I ain't winning that. I ain't winning that. It was just not there. Game breaker. Uh, this could be a mirror matchup for all we know. I'm down to hold on to everything here. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, hand buff he is. Flood Belly is better than hand buff in the mirror, that is. Let's see if we can make it happen. That ain't too bad. Live the full life. Let's get that boogie down, shall we? Some value trades here and there, make the board sticky as hell, and let's see if we can get some of them buffs. Some of them giants, some of them, some of them damn stuff. 
that kind of shizzle. Who the fuck runs this? Okay, there we go. Could also do this thing. Sounds a boot, right? It's actually pretty good. I also used one of the rush radiates there, but I don't know, having extra wide is probably better with this aura. <laughs> perhaps, maybe perhaps, if it works for you, sounds cool. Wouldn't work for me though. Okay, rush likes to Yoshie. Still good enough here. Might go Gorgon Zormu into Flash Tail here. Okay, this is far better. Did I just trade him? I actually do it like this. He cannot kill the Taunty Boy. It gives me bigger Amita's board, bigger Second Crusader aura. Sure, could have dropped him down to 12 right now, but he also could heal a ton with Tigress Plushie and whatnot. He's not getting the lifesteal this way, but it's probably not that important to him, it seems. That's a big one. That's a big bugger. Crack. Okay, Amidas would be a bad idea here. And then again, it's a pretty bad way to trade. Should be annoying for him. He does have the small Terran there, so playing Amidas there would have been kind of annoying. I could have still done it, would have left me with a bunch of idiots still. It's not like this is gonna bait him out into playing Amidas. I feel happy we didn't meet us last turn. Oh, he goes for the draw. That must suck. Fixed like a man, though. A man, duh. Crack. I will not. 
He's gonna tear him this, but this way he doesn't kill it. He is gonna have to play the rush idiot, obviously. I don't know, feels like we're losing this battle. I needed some showdown action in my life. Yeah, he even has another OG cat. Showdown off the top so I can double C giant robust. Prismatic beam would also not be the worst. There it is. Not bad. If I play Gorgon Zormu, 4 mana C giant, and 3 mana this thing, it's exact ease. I can even do this actually. I'm just gonna play the one drop so I can drop both the giants here. That's actually a lot smarter. Fucking go. That was a hell of a top deck right there. Sheesh. Did we get him? Or is this guy one of those Yog runners? Got him good. Not dead dead, but... Zilliax out top is not dead either. Okay, that's something. Well, all I gotta do is a value trade. We're not playing this Posic, because it helps him more than it helps us. I'm gonna leave his lifesteal idiot. Sadly, it's not sad. Do I tempo pause it still? Him getting a couple of free frees on the board? Do I care? I don't. Maybe if he top decks the location legendary, that'd be a shit. Amazing top deck right there. The light dims, but we fight. Okay. Um Things happening. Come on, share. Sounds about right. How's it going, Zadie? That's a good amount of card draw he's getting. But I'm getting jack shit because I don't have holy spells left. That ain't bad. Why is Flash Cell not holy, man? Why? Oh, you're also playing some of that Flood? Sounds good, man. It's doing quite well. So 
A lot of card draw, no more Tigress plushies. Outfit Taylor is there, Muscleotron is there, Audio Medic, Gold Banner, Righteous Protector. And the Location Idiot, who's a 5 mana by the way, so right now he could use that and give this thing Rush. I guess he decided otherwise or he's just not running it. Got him, what a game. That was quite the game indeed. Damn, boy. Game of Hunter. I haven't seen much of those. Why is that even? Hmm. Gorgon Zormu might be a wee bit too slow, huh? Turn 2 Gorgon Zormu might work out though. I'll try like that. Are the Tiger Splushies too slow? The fuck they are. They're one of the best cards in the deck, what do you mean? Oh, you mean in this deck? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Hand of Palele. But yeah, Tiger Splushy in this one, it's kinda okay, but... It's harder and harder to make room for them nowadays, isn't it? Can I have one of my six one-drops, please? There we go, nice game. Let's hope he doesn't get one of his six patches here. He doesn't. Hey, happy to hear it, Doc. Welcome to the stream. A lot of new viewers today, and glad to see it. Hmm... Should I... Wondering if I should coin out Gorgon Zormu, man. Maybe it's gonna help me get the board back, you know? I'm gonna be trading a lot, though. Let's turn these two ain't too bad. Heck, maybe even just Tempo 2 drop ain't too bad, but... Might be a turn 4, turn 5, turn 5, turn 6, more like it. Well, the Giants are definitely huge in this deck, what do you mean? Especially with all of these idiots. Oh shit, he's trading, that's weird. Bit on the weird end there. What is he trying to say? Is he having location next turn? I'll allow it. He's playing a weird variant. This looks pretty similar to the bullshit I was playing on day one. Not as good though. I'm damned bougie. And this guy needs to get the fuck out of here. If he goes wide, we have the prismatic beam, should be super good. Great, now there's two of them. Oh man. Prismatic Beam should solve all my problems here. Off the top, obviously. Um, there's no um still. Yeah, Leroy is a bit of a... It's a cool finisher and whatnot, but I guess this one relies more on just straight up building a board and... Staying on the board. Nice discover there. Real schmerv. This cheese has some five drops, yeah. I think I'll take him. Those are cards. None of them are particularly good. Damn it.
I'm in danger, that's for sure. But if I'm not dead, he is. And that's why you tradable first, chat. That would have been a pretty good showdown giant prismatic beam now, wouldn't it? Only four mana now. Ah, uh, that is acceptable. He should be on the trade. Could the value trade my one ones? Yeah, it's pretty decent like that. Sandcastle? He's not a bad one. Definitely not pretending this is the best variant of the deck. It's just a proven one with very good sample size and stats, so... There's definitely probably room to improve. But, uh, deck definitely feels great like this as well. Gotta be careful slapping in too many expensive cards in this one, you know? Okay, I guess he's feeling lucky. He ain't. To battle! Okay, we are whooping butts with the Floody. Yeah, Floody. 128. Look at that silly box. <laughs> now it's a box. And now she's not in the box. Look. Okay. Against the mage, lucky doggy again. I'm going to try like this, but it's not very great against mage, is it? Okay, at least we're curving. Pause, it can help. Lucy, behave. Come on, dude, stream loading slow for you. That ember. Good old Panar. I need a vacation from my vacation. Acceptable. Not so acceptable, but we'll take it. Sadly, I don't have any buffs. And that remains to be true. Well, I'm gonna fan out the deck further, I believe. Yeah, let's just hope he doesn't fuck me over, but really wish we had some buff action. Ah, sad. How the fuck do I not have a single buff or AoE? Now I have a buff, but damn. Prophet, guide me. Okay. 
Okay. That allows me to drop the giant then. Really feel like the game is scamming us a wee bit here. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I haven't seen a mesh show against me, dudes. For real, for real. Try this then. Crap. I make his crap into two twos. What to do? Cease your quarrel at once. If I don't kill all Wind Fury, he is gonna be able to kill Amidas easily. Probably is gonna kill her easily anyway, but I'll do it. See, you can't behave today, apparently. Ah! Alrighty then. There we go. Should I draw a couple idiots for two two? What to do? The idiots I have left in the deck are nothing to write home about though. I'll just go white then. Sure. I have a couple of buffs I do want. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. I have a face you know. He's on his last leg. <laughs> I 
funny. Okay, good to know. Well, that was a game. Keep on climbing then. The climbing change is real. Not our pally, Indra. I like that. Sea Trent might also be worth it if it turns out to be Flood v Flood, but we don't know that. Can't possibly know that. Toys are much more fun to bring. Okay, let's go ahead and start it off against the hand buffy. We are good against those. Honestly, as long as I don't face some of them virus warriors, our deck is very good against the meta we're facing right about now. Anything board centric we run all over, only thing we suck at is virus warrior, honestly. Kill it, don't want him to magnetize shit. He's gonna be playing the 2 4 next turn, obviously. Good kill it with this hand. I'll whip out Gorgon Zormu so we start amping up. Um, do I care about this 2 4? He could use it. He also heals a lot, so I think I'd rather get it done. Might be a little bit on the over trade side today. Rich, you say? I'm down to rich. Let's get on this board, next turn might be a good Crusader or a turn. This is not a bad top deck. I'm down. Could ignore this. Like, I won't. He could tear him on it and shit. Feel that healing beat. 
Okay. Acceptable. I think it's time for us to really kick it up a notch. Like this. I'm trading quite a lot against this guy. I don't want to get scammed by some of them buffs he could have, like another outfit tailor, like the location guy. Next turn, Amidas can drop, but so can his, so. Wouldn't be surprised if he drops Amidas here, but I'll Amidas come back. I'll Amid him in the middle. There he is. He blinked first, guys. He was the first to blink. Cease your quarrel at once. Okay. Yes. You can play that game, and he's the one losing it. Cease your quarrel at once. Get your own hand. Keep on panning. Theorem would be a bitch right now. If he doesn't have it, we have plus 6 on everything. That would be 32 damage. Or just above boy, so should be a GG. Best he could have here is Audio Medic. Or the 1-1 one, one Divine Shit. Okay, that denies me the double Crusader, but he's still dead. Okay. Neato. Too late, my turn is over. Is it though? Is it though? Oh well, all around great run today, guys. Uh, aside from the beginning, the beginning was dog shit. We did start off at 1 hundy, fell all the way down to 2 hundy, and then climbed the way, all the way back to this thing. So, uh, definitely not the worst. Definitely not the worst. 